fuck about who's number one for global. We don't give a fuck who got the most monthly listeners. If we, you know the metric we've been talking about for the last eight years. It's number one on Billboard top 200 albums list for the country of the United States of America. I don't want to hear that The Weeknd is number one in Egypt. I don't care. Wanna beat The Weeknd's ass. I'm sorry. This is, yo, I've never seen damage control like this in my life. Yo, I'm on TMZ today. I've never seen this shit. This is when I realized The Weeknd's team is panicking. They can't believe they lost to Wanna. I'm going to show you how this. Tell me in the history of TMZ. They broke the news that, you know, Michael Jackson passed away. This is the type of shit. Hold on, I'm going to get to it. Look, they're posting about the weekend's sales. Look. Nigga, if this ain't a paid post, hey, listen, the weekend team, y'all got to stop. This is looking bad for y'all. You took an L. Since when is TMZ letting us know that the weekend broke a Spotify record? How the fuck you break a Spotify record and get your ass beat by Wanna? The weekend detrones Bieber as Prince of Pop. First of all, let's cut all that out. There's too many P's there. The only nigga pushing P was Wanna. Ain't no P's. For more fucking the weekend. The weekend caught a flop. Let's, let's, are we gonna talk about it? Weekend flopped. Bad. That look disgusting. Ew. Go back to the strategy board. By the way, his audience is too big to even catch this flop. Don't try to like rewrite the story. This team is trying to rewrite the story. Yo, he was number one in the Netherlands. What the fuck? I can't point out where the Netherlands is on the map. No disrespect to people in the Netherlands. His album was the most streamed in Japan. Nigga, what the fuck? What about nigga in Atlanta? What about in New York? What about Chicago? What about LA? The weekend, if you're going for this global pop shit, good luck. But what we like to talk about here is a like play this. And I will give anybody the same treatment. If Drake was bragging about his global number one, but he lost domestically in the US. I'm like, nigga, the fuck? The weekend got washed by Wanna. This is the most embarrassing thing we've ever seen. Imagine, I don't know, imagine my son beating Adele. Think about it. We didn't even think the weekend and Wanna was even in the same discussion. This is so, it's so embarrassing. And honestly, of course we can say, well, the week um um Wanna delivered and people like what he put out. But in reality, The weekend ain't no under 200K first week type of nigga. He went pop for a fucking reason. He should be selling at least 500K. Weekend, this was embarrassing. Embarrassing at the highest and utmost degree. And this is coming from a fan of his that really didn't like the pop stuff, but I embraced it because I realized you can't be a true fan of a motherfucker if you never want them to grow. It's a lot of motherfuckers who like The weekend when the trilogy came out. They're like, oh, they didn't want him to grow. I want him to grow. Grow, my brother. Fucking grow. But when you're doing all the pop shit, you're trying to appeal to it like you've lost yourself, my brother. I believe The weekend has lost himself. He went from, you think about being pop is this. And Drake oftentimes struggles with this. Because you go from pleasing yourself to pleasing such a diverse audience that you will never be able to please. Think about Drake. He been, he been like, oh, well, I know I got to give like a couple R&B then niggas want like that song that's all about rap. Then a nigga want the song that I be dominating in the club. By the time he's done making an album trying to appease everybody, we listen to it like, this is mid. Shit, he dropped Scorpion, and he thought everybody was going to be like, oh, this is a certified classic, which, by the way, I do think is 
I think it's kind of classic now, you know, in hindsight. I definitely didn't call it classic then. But it's lived pretty good. You know what people said? He dropped a double album. People, people was like, eh. He should just do one or the other, not do both on the same thing. It's too much, too distracting. Drake is constantly plagued about by trying to please a wide audience. He can't drop an album without pleading, ple pleasing the niggas who want to hear like him being that backpack rap type of shit. Can't drop an album without pleasing the people like, oh, I want to hear R&B champagne poppy. Then he can't drop an album who without without trying to please the people like, yo, I want to hear like Drake on some trap beats. Then people like, nah, I want to hear old school take care Drake. The weekend doing this, I love the idea. I hate the execution, but now I'm asking the question, is The weekend and what he's doing trying to please his diverse audience or is he tapping into what really is his true artistic inspiration? Because a lot of times once these things go pop, they become slaves to what people want from them. And trust me, none of these niggas is Lauren Hill. So I don't want to hear none of y'all tell me, like, when a nigga goes pop, nobody's making an album that they're hoping people don't listen to. They're making it hoping everybody listens to it. So when you flop, it looks worse. Lauren Hill got big. And, and for some people who might not know who Lauren Hill is, just imagine, like, like um, I'm trying to think, well, the, musically and a, on a female level, there's no one like her. But just, uh, okay, Kanye West. I could like her, Kanye West. Kanye West is the biggest thing on earth after graduation. And Kanye's like, eh, I want to switch gears. That's Lauryn Hill. He didn't give a fuck about the fact that, well, if you just make the same shit you've been making, you're going to get bigger and people are going to love you more. He wanted to try some shit. So, so when I saw The Weeknd saying he was doing this, I'm like, hmm, this is why I like The Weeknd. He's not chasing the pop shit. He's going to try some shit. I think the, the execution was just weak. The best part of the execution here was the makeup. I ain't going to say the vo uh, his vocal ability and all that other stuff was, was bad when it came to putting together the project. However, I, after hearing the project, I question how much of this was him versus him trying to channel something that could appease a wide audience. Again, even despite of those criticisms I just made, it's embarrassing for a pop star like The Weeknd. The Weeknd is in the realm of Taylor Swift. If you lose to Wanna, I'm sorry, that's an L. I don't care who it is. If Drake loses to Wanna, L. If Taylor Swift loses to Wanna, L. The Weeknd loses to Wanna, L. Like you niggas is supposed to be pop stars. But this is why music is so good. No matter how, first of all, this is what pop is these days. Pop is is just over popular. Pop isn't a genre to itself. Back in the day, what pop used to be is okay, cool. Pop, pop used to be a sound. Oh, well, you got to make the pop sound. Well, what's the pop sound? If Hotline Bling didn't blow up or Right Foot Up, Left Foot Slide didn't blow up, those are just corny hip-hop songs. But they got so popular that now they're pop. Essentially, there is no pop now. Pop is just over... Is getting something that gets so popular becomes overpopularized. Roddy Rich, the box, pop. You think when he was in the studio, he's like, I'm making a pop song? No. He was like, yo. Nigga kept, that's what he kept saying. He said he kept hearing this thing. E -er, e -er. Put that in the fucking song. I was just Googling her pop, blah, blah, blah. Shit went hot. One of the biggest records of that year. It's a pop record. So I'm looking at this, and I think The Weeknd made a few missteps, but this is flat-out fucking pathetic. The Weeknd, 
We don't want to hear that you're number one globally. You're fucking number two to wanna. That's a fact. We don't want to hear nothing else. Don't try to filibuster it. We don't want to hear that you took over from Bieber. When's the last time Bieber dropped a fucking record? We don't care. Nobody cares about that. You lost to Wanna. And it will go down in history as you're the pop nigga who lost to Wanna. I'm sorry. You've never caught an L like this ever in life. But today, niggas got time. I hope he, by the way, I love The weekend. I hope he uses this to realize that pop shit you're trying to like chase. If you don't hit the nail on the head, if you don't have a blind in lights, if you don't have some of these huge songs that has turned your career into a Super Bowl performer, people ain't as supportive. You know what they've always said about pop, pop audiences? They love you while that record is hot. And by the way, you know who just found that out? Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich probably thought he was lit as fuck. He ain't dropped music in three years. It's like, yo, niggas love the box. Yo, they love me on Rockstar, yo. They just love me. Nigga, they love those records. It's pop. Those records went pop. In pop, they don't like you as much as they like the record. Unless you're Taylor Swift. And Bieber, too. This was a humbling moment for the weekend. And for those people who probably listened to the trilogy, who been like, yo, damn, we lost the weekend. Yeah, he's just too big now. He's a pop star, this and third. This gave me hope. So this L for him gave me hope as a fan. Hopefully he'll realize, stop chasing that shit, nigga. Get hot within the culture, then go pop. Don't seek to go pop and think the culture, like, Niggas don't know five, they don't even know three songs off this album. You know why? This shit didn't, culturally, had zero fucking impact. Zero. This shit has zero fucking impact. Now they're trying to use some antiquated, well, 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 he's the biggest global pop. Weekend. I know that's your team doing that, but I could talk to you man to man. You know that shit don't matter. You was a nigga who was singing about fucking damn near overdosing only fucking these white bitches off drugs and being toxic as fuck. And then people compared you to Michael Jackson. People saw how you helped Drake and you blew up on your own. And then some of those records kind of worked. And then you start making some big pop songs. Don't think that pop is going to keep you here, brother. Get back to where the culture is. Weekend, this is the proof. Without songs like Or Nah, that actually affects the culture, you ain't shit, my nigga. Learn that. These little pop stars be running around thinking that. No, 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 no. If The Weekend had dropped a few songs that affected the fucking culture, she would have went crazy. That nigga hasn't. That nigga hit blinded lights and pretty much he said, "Peace out, Negroes. I'm on. I'm. I, 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 I'm at the Super Bowl. Nigga, you why? You know why you were the nigga? You killed it. Like you were the the, the the. I was about to say female. Pause. You were the R and B version of Drake. You gave stimulus packages on your hooks, on your verses. You were going crazy. When we gonna play or now we play your version? Don't think this pop shit was going to keep you there. You finally just missed. All I'm just trying to tell you, come back home. Come back home. Start collaborating with Future again. Bring that back. Come on back. Let's come on back. Start getting back up in these clubs because the Ratchets love you. The white girls are going to follow the Ratchets. It's like TikTok. I never seen no motherfucking little corny white dude on TikTok make up a dance and everybody do it. It's always some nigga who kind of cool. He make up the dance. He never get credit. But the white girls take it and run with it. And they get popular for it. Cool comes from culture. And The weekend, I think you went too far from it. This is a humbling experience. And your team keeps saying, global, global. We don't give a fuck if you number one in Indonesia, nigga. 
what the fuck is this? <clears throat> Yo, his team is trying to tell us. I know he lost the one in the U.S., but huh, have you seen him be number one in Indonesia? Nigga, what? We don't give a fuck. The fuck what, the, the, what the fuck? This is where the weekend and, and we can stop with. I get you a pop star, but you a person. Be a human. Be a fucking human. That's one thing Drake got over all y'all niggas. Y'all get so big, we don't even see, you don't even speak. Like, nigga, we see Drake trying to tap in a little bit. Like, whether it's on Instagram, y'all niggas is acting like hell above everything. Your fucking team is trying to position you as, well, he's a global success. We don't care. You caught a fucking flop. Want to beat your ass first week, second week. And the third week, he about to beat your ass again. Don't ever do that again. I'm being honest with you, okay? And and, and, and honestly, I'm giving him the tough love because I love the weekend's music. But watching people just give this like fucking um pop excuse like that's just whack. Anyway, um, let me see what's going on. <laughs> 